Hey guys, welcome back for another video. I know it's been a really, really long time, but today we're gonna do another install video. Those are my favorite, and uh, I'm gonna hop over to Lucas and tell you what we're installing. So we're installing some taillights on Lucas's, uh, Lucas's machine here. He doesn't really like the way these have uh, come out over the years, or it's just, it's just time for a change. Yeah. And uh, so this is what we're gonna be installing. Lucas, you wanna tell us what yeah. these are? Uh, these are the Maverick Man Carbon LED taillights. They kind of have the same style, like C shape, as the uh, the spider ones. I don't know, they look a lot better. Yeah. So in my opinion, these taillights are going to look a little uh, less ricey, maybe. But they're definitely going to look a lot more modern, and especially with the halos he has up front, it's like a little white piece will will complement that nicely. Okay. So uh, the first things you want to do when it's on the taillights is these four screw things. These are held in for the cargo net, but you just want to take these out. They're just screws, so you just, just eat them out. Yeah, just eat these things. Is this crack? Uh, it was like that. There you go. Now I got that shit away. So then after that is... Dude. I'm a YouTuber now. Okay, where is it? These, focus, there it is. These little things, these hold in the liner, so you just have to... You have to give them a good old yeet. See, they're like a, uh, what do you call that? Like a, oh my goodness. Uh, oh, like a, a body pen kind of? Yeah, I don't know. They're just, they're like yep. a pressure clip and you just push them in there. But now, okay, so after you get done taking this trim piece off, you're going to uh, lift up Woo! this under. Fancy. Wait, <laughs> shoot. Let's just take this out. Let's take it out. And once that little clip is out up there, you just kind of take out that. Get some ooga doogas behind it. No, ooga -doogas. there you go. Move that to the side, and then you have access to the three bolts that hold in the uh, tail light. The good thing about these uh, tail lights is they come with the harness and adapters already like in them, so you don't need to splice or use your own bulbs or anything plug and play features that we like okay so uh right. we're gonna take out these three bolts right here and then i think the it should just slide out right yeah yeah then it's just gonna slide out and uh then we're gonna oh make sure you probably unclip this because you don't want to slide that out with that clipped in otherwise well you don't want to pull your wires out that's not fun and then the three nice job big guy thanks man then the three uh 10 millimeter bolts you can just twist those bad boys out mm -hmm. should slide right out so the bad thing about these, these are a pain in the ass to get out. So you pretty much just have to fiddle with it. Yeah, I feel like if you slide it out, you have the best chance because it keeps getting cut on the threads on this metal side. So Lucas, uh, you did these off of here, and the the toughest part. I know this is the new headlight, but it's gonna be these clips. So I don't know if you can see those, but you're gonna have them on your new headlights, and uh, you're gonna just need to slide them out. It's gonna just you're gonna feel like you're breaking them. But. Yeah. You're gonna feel like you're gonna break them, but uh, you kind of just have to trust that they're coming out. I don't know. You gotta give them a couple ooga doogas, move them around a little bit, play with it, fiddle with it, fiddle with your thing, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we kind of lied to you. Uh, we're gonna need to use the OEM harness that it comes, with, comes with the car, which isn't a big deal. Just, you're gonna pop it out, and then we're gonna put them into the new that's not the new housing. That's new housing. That housing. Oh, are you? <laughs> no! <laughs> Here's a quick joke. Look at these. Look at these. Look at Oh, stop. What are those? Oh. Don't do it. Oh. Nah. Which one's the reverse? Did you suck at this? I know. My first time ever working on cards. Oh, Makes that sense. one's the reverse one. You can tell by your stock ass wheel. I've seen Helen Keller put a car together faster than this. Now just shove it through the hole real quick. Yep. Give, it, yep. give it a quick shove. Yep. Yep. All right, sick. The old quick shove. All right. Mm hmm. Here we go. Yep. Ready? Okay. Okay. So you take this wire, turn it into the turn signal wire. So you press down, twist. That's in. Then you take the black and green one. That's the reverse. Shove it into this one. Okay. Here we go. It's in. And then you take this weird looking thing. Okay. So then you shove it in like that. Yep, shove it on. And then, should we make sure it works? 
Yeah, yeah, that's because, probably a good idea. Because you don't want to put the whole thing back together and it not work. That's one thing with wiring that really stinks a lot. I understand. Still need the one. Turn on your headlights. First time using a car. I understand. No? No. You must have the wiring in. We must have done it wrong. <laughs> don't listen to us. We don't know what we're doing. And so do everything we just did. Just start playing this. <laughs> start playing this video in reverse. Okay. Pop that yeah. out. Give it an old flip. Let's try it again. Ah! Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Good job, Lucas. Okay, so when you're putting these wires in, make sure, you, uh, like, test the card. Make sure they work properly before putting them in because you can easily put these wires in like flip them the wrong way and then they won't work so then you'd have to take everything apart again so just when they're out like this test them and if they work you're good to shove them back in and go on to the other side and we just tested so we're gonna start putting this side back together and then we're gonna do the other side probably not gonna film that one that's gonna get kind of redundant look he's getting it back into place good job what the fuck he's doing. yeah that looks done Snug as hell. All right, so I know it's getting dark, but Lucas finished installing these, and they turned out really cool. Check out these uh, sequentials. Focus. Dripping lights, paint the skies, all because of you. Dripping lights, paint the skies, only. Hey guys, uh, now that we got these things in, if anyone wants to purchase these bad boys, just put it in the comments or message me, and maybe we can get something figured out. Fingers.